welcome to another video i know there's a few new guys tuning in to this channel um getting like a fair few new subscribers from each video which is pretty pretty interesting i guess it's good to see like people sort of resonating on what i'm speaking about and thinking about um hopefully it's not too dark in this video as i'm walking towards the end of the day just to get some steps in but i wanted to talk about the subject of i guess philosophy and then tying it in with training like weight training or gym or whatever type of training you're doing and more importantly the philosophy the concept of stoicism and if you can attach this if you can attach stoicism to your mind and have that in the front of your mind whenever you're trying to train or work out or whatever you're doing it's going to help you tremendously it's probably one of the most important or powerful tools of your mind you can use is is to essentially remain stoic um if you know what stoicism is already great but if you don't basically what being stoic is is observing things around you and understanding like thoughts and emotions but not reacting to the thoughts literally just responding to them so you would think like to say if something bad happened let's use training for an example just say just say you're at the gym and you got injured right you wouldn't think to yourself oh this is so shit now i can't train like just say you injured your bicep oh i can't train biceps now oh, this this is shit can't go to the gym in instead you would be stoic about the situation and you think okay i've hurt my arm what else can i still do like i'm not going to let this set me back i'm going to keep moving forward forward in the direction i need to go so you would say to yourself oh i can still train legs i can still i can still do cardio i can still do whatever i can still do whatever exercises that don't involve the bicep but it goes way, way more than that. I want you to think of it like this. If you're being stoic, it doesn't matter what circumstances or what pressure you're placed under, or no matter where you are, what access, what you know, equipment you have access to, or anything like that. If you're literally stoic, you can get the job done, whatever you need to do. There's a big magpie there. Can you see him? He's just sitting on the on the pole. I'll see if I can zoom it in on the video after, if I can crop in. <laughs> Mr. Magpie's watching. Anyway, so being stoic, if you're ultimately stoic, you can essentially be your authentic self in whatever you do, because you do not let, I guess, the opinions of anyone else sway you and distract you from the ultimate goal of what you really need to do. So your goal might be, you know, you want to eat clean, stick to the diet, go to the gym, get bigger, and you're going to be, I guess, persuaded and, and swayed by you know friends and family around you trying to convince you oh no nah, don't do that it's too hard just be normal like the rest of us but if you want to be great at something there's no such thing as balance you you literally have to go all in and by going all in you have to be completely stoic because like i said you're going to be like looked upon like oh this guy's crazy why are you doing that why are you doing this etc and you have to literally learn to like understand that these people don't have the same, I guess, vision, mindset, mindset, goal, that whatever you have. Theoretically, if you're stoic, you can train as hard as you want, do whatever you have to do, and you'll get it done. Because you're not going to think twice, you're not going to be, you're not going to second guess yourself. You're going to know what you need to do, you're going to know the obstacles, the hard things that, that are in the way. You can literally work through these hard things, you can do the hard thing. You can do the shit that no one wants to do, and on top of that, you're going to get the results that no one else is going to get. And I guarantee you, at the end of it, right, you're going to be your most authentic self, you're going to be true, and you're going to attract people who are on the same vibration as you. That's the best thing about it. All the, the people who are not on the same vibration, all the people who don't understand where you're coming from, your goal, they'll simply slip away. They'll fall away. You'll, I guess, vibrate above them or away from them if you're so determined on your goal, whatever you want to do. And you will attract the people who you need to attract. And the universe will provide you with exactly who you need to be in contact with, who you need to network with. But tying it back to stoicism, you're going to be faced with so much trials, tribulations, people judging you, second-guessing you, thinking, why are you doing this? And if you can acknowledge that and think, okay, that's fine. They can think what they want to think. I understand that they don't understand where I'm coming from, but that's okay. Everyone's different. Um understanding that and oh, it's Mr. Magpie again and knowing that that it's okay and you think in your head yep that's fine you go on your way and I'll continue to walk work towards what I need to do and nothing is going to literally sway you 
and pull you away from your ultimate goal, your purpose. And you need to have that purpose. If you don't have the purpose and you're trying to be stoic, it's going to be hard because it's like it's you have way less of a reason to remain, I guess, on on the task, on the task at hand, whatever you need to do. As you're faced with all these extra you know, challenges, the persuasion, the what's the word for it, like. The swaying from the path is going to seem a lot easier because there's almost less of a reason to stay on the path. It's like, oh, yeah, maybe maybe I'll walk where everyone else is walking. It's not so bad. But when you have your vision, your goal, and your mind so strong, you know exactly what you want. Nothing will persuade you off that. That's when you combine that with stoicism, and you'll be met with with success in uncommon hours. I can guarantee it. I'm seeing it in real time right now. I, it's it's funny how. Like I've started doing these videos and the channel's starting to grow and people are starting to resonate with what I'm talking about. But none of this would have been possible if I gave or if I cared too much what people thought. I would be like, I wouldn't be stoic about it. I'd be thinking, uh, maybe I won't post this, maybe people will see it that I know, etc. But if you don't care and you can just be yourself, that's when you'll, I guess, bring in people who's, who are similar to you, similar mindset, similar vibration. And you don't need like such a huge network of friends, of people. You just need to select a few people around you that you can literally rely on anything with. Oh, I think I've down again, up this hill. Ah. Yeah, going back to the point, you don't need you know, tens of friends, hundreds of friends to sort of like show off, whatever. When you have your goal, your purpose, that's in front of everything else, that is all you need. That and a very close network of people that you can literally rely on anything for and you'll get anything you want. Well, you'll, I shouldn't say you'll get it, you'll achieve any, anything you want. But it all comes about understanding the principles of stoicism. And one of the great books for this, a lot of you have probably heard of, is um, obviously Meditations by Marcus Aurelius, Aurelius, however you want to say it. And there's so much, uh, like one of my favorite quotes from that book, like this ties in well today so many young men or not young like this men in general always talk about oh what a good man is a good man should do this a good man should have balance a good man should look after this i think you know where i'm going with this everyone wants to talk about what a good man is or what a good man should be but no one wants to do it who is out there actually doing it there's only a select few and the people out there who are doing this are the ones getting the results they're the ones with you know success in any area whether it's business fitness, YouTube, content creation, the guys that actually do, do the actions and act as if are the ones who are their authentic self and they will get the results. So when you're training next time and you're worried how you look or how you sound or what people think of you, just understand that's, that's their perception. It'll last in their mind about five seconds, 10 seconds. And then it'll, they'll literally forget about you and they'll worry about their problems again. Because everyone has got a lot of problems they deal with every single day. And the small minute of time you take up in their mind is so insignificant to what they actually deal with on a daily basis. So I guarantee you, don't stress about what people are thinking if you want to get started on this health and fitness journey or whatever. It's not, they're not the ones that are going to, I guess, if you fail on this and you, you don't go down this journey because you're worried about what people are thinking and saying and feeling about you, they're not gonna be the ones helping you when you're unfit or when you have a shit business or when you fail or whatever you're doing. They're not gonna be, oh yeah, you failed because I told you it was shit, now let me help you. They're not gonna help you, they're not gonna care. Like they're not gonna be there for you. The only person you're gonna, that's gonna be there for you is literally you. That's the thing in this world. As you get older, you realize everyone is too busy traveling on their own path. And if you can understand that and then you can focus solely on your path without the external influence, Watch how fast you start making progress in any area of your life. And just start taking action and do the hard things. Do the things that people don't want to do because then you're essentially going to get the results that people don't have. And then on top of that, there's still, you know, you're going to get your jealous people, people that criticize you, say this and that. But I guarantee it, like, these people will never reach anywhere near the potential of what you're going to get to. And you won't care at that point anyway. You'll be, you know, have your, you'll have your dream physique or your dream car or your, or your dream house or whatever you want. And these people are just literally just going to be a blimp in your, in your memory, a blip in your memory. 
there's not going to be any any sort of significance that bears weight on your future decisions. The only person that bears weight on your future decisions is you. As a young man, once you step into this and you realize no one is coming to save you, no one like all these people who criticize you are not there to save you. They're not there to help you. They're literally there to criticize you because they're, I guess they're incompetent with themselves. And it goes by the crabs in a bucket theory. These people want to drag you down because they can't do the shit themselves. And they see someone else succeeding like, no, 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 no. Come back with us. Come back with us. And they'll try to make you feel shit for wanting to succeed. But if you do succeed and you break out of this, these people may be even more mad at you because they'll be like, shit, this guy actually did it. <laughs> it's funny at that point. You can just sit back and laugh because you've got the results, you've got the reward, you've done the work, and the rest is history when it's all said and done. Anyway, this was a bit of a like side topic video, but yeah, hope this video finds you well.